Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 38. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with and programming a secondary boost control solenoid. Now, if we're dealing with an external wastegate, we have both a top and a bottom port on the wastegate. When we're dealing with open or closed loop type of format, and we talked about in the last few videos, we'll be assuming we're controlling just the three port solenoid on the top of the wastegate. But we can introduce a second solenoid and control the side port or the bottom port of the wastegate. This allows us a lot of flexibility in our boost control because we may not be able to get enough boost out of a certain spring pressure with a single boost control solenoid. Integrating two solenoids allows us to control our boost pressure independently of each other. It gives us a larger programming window rather than working with a four port boost solenoid that it really has a coarse adjustment. It's difficult to get your boost control dialed in 100% with those four ports. So this is an alternate approach to getting a very large or wide range of boost control. If you have a five pound spring and you want to hit 50 pounds of boost, this is going to be exactly what you want to work with. So we're going to go through setting it up and then how to program it within our Max. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with setting up a secondary boost solenoid in our boost control routine. In the last two videos, we've explored our open loop and our closed loop boost control tuning methods. This video we're going to be exploring, again, integrating this secondary solenoid into an either open or closed loop type format. Now, we're going to find that the secondary boost solenoid is something that's not commonly used. So I'm going to be going over the concept here of why we want to use it in terms of boost control and why we'd want to use it over a four port boost solenoid. So let's actually discuss the setup and configuration details here with dual boost solenoids. Now this is only going to apply if you have an external wastegate. If you have an internal wastegate, you'll find you only have one port on the internal wastegate for control. So in that case, you wouldn't be able to utilize two boost control solenoids. So in this situation where we have two boost solenoids, we'll be controlling the, bo the bottom and the top of the wastegate. In the normal configuration where we have a single solenoid on an external gate, we will control just the top port alone. Now when we have a option to use a four port solenoid, some might argue that that would be much easier than running two solenoids and controlling them independently. The problem I find with the four port solenoids is that it's going to be a very coarse adjustment in our boost control, meaning very, very small duty cycle changes will leave a very large boost output or the change in boost that we'll find in our boost pressure. That's not desirable. That makes controlling the boost very difficult. If you're finding that you change, let's say, from one day to the next, and the ambient air temperature swings 20 degrees, that might require a 1% or 2% adjustment in the duty cycle to achieve the same boost between both temperatures, uh, ambient temperatures or air densities that we'd be dealing with. When we're dealing with a three-port solenoid, that's easy to adjust. When we're talking about a four-port solenoid, that 1% adjustment might be the difference of three to six pounds of boost. It is going to be pretty substantial for the duty cycle versus the boost change with a four port. When we're dealing with a three port, there's less of that change, much easier to deal with and much more consistent and repeatable. So I don't prefer working with four port solenoids. If I'm in a situation where I wanna control a large range of boost, let's say I have a five pound wastegate spring and I wanna go up to something like 40 pounds of boost, a single three port boost solenoid controlling just the top port of the wastegate alone will not get me typically to that 40 PSI target range I want in my boost pressure. If I use a four port solenoid controlling both the bottom and the top ports of the actual wastegate, we'll find that we'll be essentially shutting off the air pressure reference to the bottom port, which is causing the valve to stay shut. We're also placing pressure on the top port, uh, essentially effectively adding more spring pressure on the diaphragm and valve assembly. Both of those will keep the valve shut much longer and will achieve much higher boost pressures. So in that situation, the four port will have the advantage of having a very large range of boost adjustment compared to just a single three port. We might only reach 30 pounds of boost with a five pound wastegate spring. And we can always change the base wastegate spring to something stiffer and achieve that boost range that we're after with a three port. But if we're looking for the resolution or the large change in boost range, we might have a car that's going to be pump gas and based on ethanol, so a full flex fuel tune, and varying huge ranges of boost control, the four port would have the advantage there over a three port because we may want to have that five PSI spring as our base to be able to achieve very low boost on, let's say, first gear operation on pump gas. But we might want to have a little bit more boost range um, and adjustment on ethanol. We might want to have a little bit more higher boost pressures. Um, so in that sense, the four port wins. 
But again, we have that disadvantage where we have that unlinear relationship, the duty cycle, versus the actual boost pressure change as we're dealing with programming, which makes the programming very hard and it makes the boost control not as repeatable as a three port. We can get around this and have the same kind of control range as we'd find with a four port and have all the advantages of a three port by using two three port boost solenoids with an external wastegate. One solenoid would control the top of the wastegate, so the top port of the wastegate, as we find in the traditional sense, as we talked about in our previous training tutorials. The side or the bottom port on the wastegate can be controlled with another boost solenoid, changing the actual routing. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.